Hey, St. Peter's, Pastor John here. Since the launch of Vision 28, growing younger and deeper in Christ, we've been hard at work positioning our congregation to connect the next generation of Christ and lead them to lifelong discipleship. As with every Christian community, worship is at the center of our lives together. And as we seek to grow younger and deeper in Christ, we desire St. Peter's to be known for inspiring worship services that connect people to Jesus and to one another. Always pointing to Jesus as we move forward, we are going to seek to engage the next generation through the creative use of things like technology and music, communication, even environmental design and worship flows, but especially relational leadership as we hold two distinct styles or formats of services. In short, when people leave worship at St. Peter's, they will have grown deeper in their faith and connection with Jesus and will long to come back and experience the community of believers found here. In October, we hosted a series of kitchen table talks and invited our whole congregation to participate in three information meetings where I had the opportunity to present the vision for worship, answer questions, and to hear from our people. Now, after months of planning, I'm excited to be able to tell you that we are ready to install our new sound system, which is a huge part of moving forward in worship. The proclamation of the gospel is and will always be our top priority, and this new sound system will help ensure that everyone can clearly hear the good news of Jesus. Now, along with the new sound system, there's also going to be some additional changes that are going to take place. And one of the most visually significant changes will be the placement of the worship team at our contemporary service. To better facilitate leadership of the music and the service and to bring a, a greater focus on the altar area and cross, the worship team will be up front. With this shift will come changes that will impact all of our services. To ensure room for the team and prevent the altar area from getting cluttered, we are going to be removing the pulpit along with the chancel chairs. We will also be placing a new professional drum enclosure behind the chancel. This enclosure is going to help us control the sound of the drums and allow us to move to an acoustic drum kit. For our traditional services, all of the band equipment will be removed from the altar area except for the drum enclosure and the drum kit. This is going to help us to maintain an appropriate worship environment for those services. Our worship teams have already worked out, set up, and tear down so that the altar area is set right for each distinct style of service. Now, here are some key dates that you all need to know about. The installation of the sound system will begin on Monday, March 11th. The install is going to take place during spring break, so there's minimal impact on our school and church. The following week, the system will then undergo a final tuning before we go live with it. What this means is that the sanctuary is going to be closed for spring break. So our regular Wednesday service on March 13th will be moved over to the Den Mezzanine at the same time, 7 p.m. Now, on the weekend of March 24th, we invite you to join us for Palm Sunday worship as we launch this system. We are excited to bring this significant enhancement to our sanctuary in time for our Easter celebration. For a full description of the worship vision and enhancements for all services, be sure to pick up a printout from the stained glass window in the church lobby or visit our website at the link below. We are so excited for you to join us as we worship our resurrected Lord Jesus and experience this new change and enhancements, experience the difference in our services.